Um, I once had a friend way back. Uh, he used to work in the hospital in Oshobo. Um, of course, way back then, his salary was like 300 naira. Yes, 300 naira, 300. And was, um, I think he had only secondary school. That was the highest uh, education he had. But he was looking for a better opportunity. And nobody was going to take him because of his, um, his, his educational um, deficit, so to speak. But I know this guy is so good. What he does for that, for the hospital, is a uh, debt recovery. Um, organizations that have a retainership agreement with the hospital. Um, and then where some of them, um, when they default in, in paying, is this my friend that normally goes after them to persuade them and beg them to um, to to pay up. But of course, he felt his salary was not as um, as he feels it should be. So he, he, he actually applied for another job um, in Ilori. And of course, uh, he got to the Ilori uh, hospital based on referral. They told them over there, oh, this guy is so smart. He's so good. He has good human relationship. He knows how to help you always get your um, your debt or your he helps you recover funds when it's out there. So the hospital in Ilori was so excited to have him. And um, so when they were interviewing him, uh, and it got to the point of salary, they asked him, "What? How much would you want us to pay you?" Um, jokingly, my friend just said, ah, "Well, if you pay me five, I won't mind." And um, of course they said, all right, so we would employ you. And so they employed him. At the end of the month, they paid him his salaries. And um, of course, they I'm not sure they paid it into the bank. They just handed it over to him in an envelope. And my friend counted the money and he was shocked. So he went back to the finance department. He said, um, I think there is a mistake here. And um, those ones said, no, we don't think there's a mistake. Uh, we paid you what you think, uh, what you said uh, you think is going to be good for you. Um, my friend said, I, I said five. And they said, yes, is that not five we paid you? Or, or, or you want more, more than 5,000? Um, and my friend said, um, all, all right, it's okay. I'll take it like that. And then he left and then he was still dumbfounded. The guy actually said five. His last salary was 300. And so when he said five, what he was expecting was 500 Naira. And now they paid him 5,000 Naira. So he was, he was so, so, um, so shocked. He was shocked, uh, and then of course that's how he got what beyond what um, he requested for. So at times when things are not working out for you the way you think, or when you think, oh, all right, this is a problem, that's the way God turns it around um, to favor you. And so when challenges come at times, don't always see it from the negative angle. You may always see it from the point that, oh, all right, number one, maybe God is trying to teach me something from this. Or, all right, maybe there's a promotion around the corner. Um, that's why this challenge came. So it's all about your attitude. That's what I'm trying to talk about this evening. Your attitude, your mindset, the way you see how things happen uh, to you. Um, many of us can never ever see things from the positive side, from the good side. We always see things always all the time from the negative. Oh, this thing has come to finish me. Oh, this thing will never work out well. No matter what comes your way, can you always see your challenges as, 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 as opportunities? Of course, that my friend, the biggest challenge he thought he had was his educational uh, deficit, um, school sat. Oh, nobody wants to take me. Um, nobody think I'm good enough. That was his problem. But the, the point was that he had skills that even graduates didn't have. And so where, where they were paying him 5,000, they weren't paying him because um, of his educational uh, level. They actually paid him based on his skills and um, how he was actually delivering. Of course, with time, my friend was no more um, handing 5,000 from that place. They started handing in the region of 50,000 and 100,000 because um, he was he had the opportunity of venturing to another hospital in Lagos. And um, that hospital said, oh, we have that you have this good skill and we are going to get, get you, but we have some long um, standing debts outside we have done everything to get them back, but we've not been able to do so. If you're able to get this debt for us, um, you get 10% of the value. And my friend, and so they said, we're not going to pay you salaries. We are paying you um, commission. And so my friend said, so give me the list of those people owing you. And he saw the ones owing 100,000, the one owing 10 million, uh, 15 million. Of course, my friend didn't go for the thousands. He only he went for the, the, the complaints owing the hospital millions. 
and guess what gradually they started paying back and so my friends started getting uh, commission in hundreds of thousands in fifty thousand and everything um, and so he had to go back to the hospital in Ilori and negotiated with them he said all right i'm going to be leaving you people but i will not leave you entirely um, i'm going to keep working for you but no more salaries pay me based on commission every um, debt that i recover for you uh, 10 percent of the debt of course uh, most organizations all those debts always become bad debts and so they agreed and that was like became the business of this my friend he was doing it um, in all hospitals across lagos across the lorry and that was how he made it so never look at those things that you feel oh this is a problem uh, my educational background is a problem uh, my parents died when i was so young that's why my situation is like this no for every problem that you think you have there are always opportunities around the corner for you so i want somebody to hold on to that um, get encouraged and never look at your challenges or your problem because there are always always opportunities around you all right so i hope somebody will be encouraged by that i don't know your own situation i don't know what has been making you feel depressed and making you feel down this is not the end of the situation for every problem there are always opportunities 